Here we have the floor plan for our project in 2D. We will first define our walls for the structure. In the Room Manager, we select Database to set up the calculation. Under Workspace, select Room Areas, the external walls. The wall construction system appears. You are able to select your walls from the database or you may create your own specifications. We will select a block wall, stucco finish on both sides, along with its insulation and the insulation value. The U-factor of the wall is determined by the section. Layer 1 is interior stucco, layer 2 is concrete block, and layer 3 is insulation board including vapor barrier and stucco for layer 4. Next we will analyze the vapor diffusion. The graph will show temperature, saturated pressure, and partial pressure. The blue highlight on the exterior or left side of the wall indicates the moisture content of the complete wall assembly. This is especially important in areas where the winter temperature conditions have high humidity and low temperatures. Here the red indicates the inside of the wall. Layer 1 is 20 degrees Celsius. And the blue is the exterior, layer 4, which is negative 10 degrees Celsius. Layer 2, the block, is 16 to 18 degrees Celsius. And the layer 3, our insulation material and vapor barrier, is 16 degrees to negative 9 degrees. This wall is now defined for our calculation. In the CATS Commander, we select the Command Draw Wall. We will select the wall assembly we have just created. We will trace the length of the exterior walls. You must trace the exterior wall boundary of the exterior wall. As you can see, the snap points are selected, even with complex geometry. The last straight section will automatically be calculated. Do not return to your start point with your snap point, but stop at the last straight line prior to your beginning point. You will now right mouse click. When the context menu appears, select Close. In Room Geometry, we will select Walls. We will now choose our interior wall construction. The predefined wall construction appears in a window, or you may change its characteristics. We now trace our interior walls. At the starting point, it is necessary to click both sides of the wall, and in this case, the exterior wall starting point. The same procedure is required when you trace all interior walls. In the CATS Commander, we select Openings. Our Window Opening database appears. We select our window type. You are able to select a default window height or edit the database height. Similarly, we will snap the horizontal borders of the window. The same procedure applies to the exterior doors.
In this presentation, we will not calculate the interior doors. However, it is done in the same way as the exterior doors. In the CATS Commander, we will select room numbers. We can define story, room number, and room name. You can click on the room description on the architectural drawing and it will copy to the window. Now a block appears with a text box for the room and includes set points for heat load and cooling load calculation. We will select floor and ceiling assemblies in the CATS Commander. We can select from the database or edit the database if needed. Highlight the entire drawing interior. The color changes in the text block to yellow indicating the floor and ceilings have been assigned. We will select the command Edit Room Number. We are adding all of our rooms to the cooling load calculation. We will now assign load profiles to our training center. Thirty people, number of lights and appliances. We can select the method of regulation such as a system on and off. Select infiltration rate. Machinery is not calculated or the component such as sealing cooling without airflow. We will assign the wall components to each room. We will highlight the entire drawing selecting all rooms. Now you have assigned the wall components. By clicking on one of the room numbers, you are able to see that the entire floor area changes color. This signifies that the room is ready to be calculated and has been assigned properly. Repeat the procedure for the other rooms. We are now ready to complete the cooling load calculation. In the CATS Commander, we will select Calculate Cooling Load.